hello and welcome back to my youtube channel now in today's video i am going to be teaching you how you can actually make stick animation movies just like this yes just like this now if you are new to this youtube channel what i actually do here is i teach you how you can actually make money online and how you can actually be more productive using your smartphone and of course how you can actually make money offline too now if you are new to this youtube channel remember to subscribe to this youtube channel and turn on the notification bell so that whenever i drop a new video you will be notified youtube is going to notify you and if you are a returning subscriber you are always welcome and make sure you like this video and you drop a comment if you actually learned something now to make a stick animation just like this we are going to be using four good apps yes we are going to be using four apps now the first app we are going to be using is chat gpt now the reason we are using chat gpt is for us to create a script now if you want to create a video like this you need to create a script now that is what the people will say the character the mood everything you need to create scenes and we are going to be using chat gpt to create it now we are going to be using this particular prompt and i'm going to show you to create your script so let's go over to chat gpt and then create our script now the first thing you do is to open your chat gpt now when you open your chat gpt you see this place where we have ask anything you are going to post your prompt there i'm going to give you the prompt that you are going to post there and this particular prompt we are trying to generate a script so that the images we are generating will have what they will be saying okay so i'm just going to click here and then i'm going to write my prompt now this is the prompt i gave chat gpt i said generate a funny script of two sticky figure ladies one a customer and one a fashion designer the customer wants to sew a dress for 2000 naira, and she's pointing for 2000 naira, and she's pointing at a painting of beyonce red dress as her choice okay so after generating my prompt i'm just going to click here and wait all right so this is the prompt this is the script that it generated for me and when i want to start creating my voice this is what i'm going to use now the next thing i want to do i will click on this place and then i'm going to write generate several image prompts to explain the sense okay so after writing this i'm going to click here and then i'm going to wait for ai to generate several image prompts to actually explain the scenes after creating our script using chat gpt now the next thing we are going to be doing is to convert those scripts to convert them into images and the app we are going to be using for that is called lonado ai app now if you don't want to use lonado ai app you can actually use your whatsapp ai app that's your meta ai app now the only disadvantage i think the only disadvantage for meta ai is that meta ai app always have always come in four corners it doesn't have dimensions so if you want to use it on um if you want to use it on your um your youtube channel you need to you need it to be in like the 16 ratio 9 dimension that's the dimension of this particular video but if you are using whatsapp whatsapp only just have your instagram and square size that's your square size one ratio one so instead i prefer us using leonardo ai then you can actually try image fs that's actually an ai tool by google you can actually try it for your images but for this particular for the sake of this particular video we are going to be using leonardo ai so let's get right into how we can actually use leonardo ai to create our stick animations or our stick images rather when you open leonardo.ai you are going to see this when you open the app now we are interested in generating images so we are going to click on image generation 
So I'll click on this and then this is where we are supposed to type in our prompts, the prompt we got from ChatGPT. Now, before doing that, click this place, click here. Now, in this particular place, you can see different dimensions that you can choose. That's your image size. Now, this particular one, it's for YouTube, 16 ratio 9. Let's click on more. Let's click on more. When you click on more, you are going to see more. Here, yeah, you have your Instagram size, which is 4 ratio 5. You have your TikTok size, which is 9 ratio 16. You have your Facebook size, 16 ratio 9. The same size with our... Um, youtube size so any dimension any size you actually want your image to be just pick the dimension before deciding to create your stuff now let's go back here now we are going to paste our prompt here so that an image will be generated for us so i'm just going to paste the prompt here and then after pasting the prompt, I'm going to click on this so the image can be generated for us. So I'll just wait for my image to be generated. It's generating it. I just need to wait. So these are the images that was generated for me. These are the images. Now, I'm going to pick this particular one. I'm going to pick this particular one and I'm going to click here to save it to my gallery. I can decide to go back and then decide to click on each of them and then still follow the same process by clicking here and saving it to my gallery. Now we have actually created our stick images, but they are not moving yet. <laughs> they are not moving yet. And remember, we are actually trying to create animations, right? So the next thing we are going to be doing, we are going to be using an app that can help us to turn those stick images into moving images using um, an AI app that's into animations. And the particular AI app we are going to be using is called Halo AI. Now this is the um, AI app. So let's get right into how we can actually use it to get our images to start moving when you enter this site this is the site aluai.video now when you enter you are going to see all this now to generate our videos from images just click on this plus sign here now click on the plus sign and it's going to take me to this place now what I just need to do is to click here, is to click here and then get the image that was generated for me by Leonardo AI. Now, now the next thing you need to do, you see this particular place, this particular place where we have, um, where you can write text. Now you can insert the image prompt there. That's the scene prompt the reason you are inserting it here so that it can successfully tell this site how it wants your video to be generated so after doing this the next thing we are going to do is to click here so that our video can be created so i'm just going to click it and as you can see it's creating the video now it's telling us one job in queue so all we just need to do is to wait for it you can click here to wait as you can see it's saying it's in progress now four hours wait now just because you are not a just because you are not a premium member sometimes it can be two hours sometimes it can be 30 minutes sometimes it can be five minutes all right so most times since you are new it's going to be like two minutes three minutes four minutes and after some time the time frame is going to be increasing okay so this is it so this is it this is how it looks like now as you can see it's actually trying to as you can see it's actually trying to explain the prompt because the lady is pointing at the picture of beyonce and as you can see the fashion designer 
is short. So all we just need to do is to click here and save this image or save this animation rather. And we are going to save it with watermark. Now the last AI tool that we are going to be using is called Speechman. Now one of the reasons I love Speechman is this. It's an AI tool that can actually help you to turn text into voice and realistic. Like it is actually very realistic. Your voice is actually going to be very realistic. Especially if you are talking about turning um, text into voice and you are looking for something that will sound Nigerian or that will sound African. This AI tool can actually help you. So to convert our text into speech, we are just going to come to our chat GPT and then we are going to click on it, press on it, then you click on select test, then we are going to be selecting each of the tests. So I'm going to select this first one that says Auntie I beg, I want to show this as address with style just 2k. So I'm going to select it and then I will come to this site speechma.com. Now I'm going to come here. And then you see a space where you can paste your test here. So I'm just going to paste my test here. Then you see this place where we have 73816. I'm going to write anything you see in this space. Just write it here. Okay. To proceed. So I'm going to click on it. 73816. Now the next thing we are going to do is to select voice yes to select voice so we are going to go down and these are lots of voices that you can actually select now i want to select a nigerian like voice so i'll click on countries all countries and i'm going to search for nigeria this is nigeria now nigeria voice has a z name and this other name um i think abio or i don't know so i'm going to use easy name so i'll click on easy name now i have selected easy name now the next thing i will do i'll click on generate audio So I've generated it now. Let's play how it will be. Let's play it. Auntie, I beg I want so this exact dress with style O. Just to Kenara. Okay, so we have done this. Just click on download. So I'm going to download it. And then after downloading it, the next thing we are going to do is to open our CapCut app. Now when you open your CapCut app, you are going to see this. The next thing you need to do, click on new project. We want to add everything that we have done. We want to add them together. Here, you'll be required to select the particular, your, that your video that we did, our image that we converted to video. So we are going to select it here. So I'm just going to look for mine and select. So this is mine. So I'm just going to click on it. And this is it. I'll click on add now that I have brought it in look at it okay so I'm just going to play it it's just a five um, seconds video now remember that this is just one of the scene meaning that if we do another scene we are just going to put the other scene here if we are doing other scene for example I've created other cartoon animations let me just show you let's say you want to put other scenes you can just put, click the plus and then you can click and you'll be able to put other scenes so it will be a complete scene okay so the next thing we want to do now is to add our audio that audio that we generated so i'm going to click on audio and i'm going to come to this place where we have sounds i'll click on it now it's going to take us to this place now click here here you have um, an image that looks like a memory card click on it and then you click on device now here we are going to start searching for 
our audio that we downloaded now to search for it just type speech mark to search for it just text speech mark when you text type speech mark you'll be able to search for it because the name of the site is speech mark so i think this is it this is it here yeah. okay so i'm going to auntie i beg i want so this exact dress okay. which style oh now we are going to click on the plus to add it so i'll click on the plus and let's play it now auntie i beg i want so this exact dress which style oh just two canara okay so this is it now after everything you just to save your work you just click on this place and then export and your work is saved now this is our final result this is what we got at the Auntie, end of the I day i want so this exact dress with style now if you enjoy watching this video I... and you are a new person this is the first time you're watching my youtube channel Remember to subscribe. Yes, subscription is free. And then turn on the notification bell so that whenever I drop a new video, YouTube is going to notify you. Be among the first set of persons that YouTube is going to notify that the new video has been dropped. Then if you are a returning subscriber, don't forget to like this video and drop a comment. Drop a comment. Just drop anything. Just comment. Drop anything. Say anything. It can be thank you. It can be good morning. Good evening. Thumbs up. I love this video. Keep making videos like this make sure you comment because these things will actually help the youtube algorithm to push my videos to more people and this will in turn encourage me to actually make more videos for you so see you next time bye